Welcome to another styling video. This I think will be the last style I'm going to attempt with my straightened hair because I think it honestly looks fairly good from a distance but when you come in close man you see those flakes and it's it's just flake city up in here. Along with the flakes comes itching. Now brushing my scalp seems to be alleviating that which is good but the flaking tells me I need to do something with it soon. I have pushed it beyond a week and you can see it's all sticking together now. It's a lot of gunk in it. But here we go with the last one. It's a heatless style that I saw and I'm going to attempt to do one last heatless style. What the girl did was she made a zigzag part in the middle of her hair. I really should <laughs> use a proper brush to do this. But I didn't grab the parting brush, so that's what we're doing. Okay, so once I have it kind of parted out like this, as normal, it is time to brush it out. So I think I'm going to put a little oil on first. On the ends, and I always remember to put it like on the ends of my short bits too. Because baby, I have layers. Natural layers from where your hair grows out. I'm really only using the tiniest bit, and that's the thing with oils, serums, anything like that, that you use in your hair, you really only need to use a tiny little bit. That was again the mistake I made back when I was a teen and didn't know anything about taking care of my hair. I would slather my hair in so much oil, it was ridiculous. I was just trying to keep it straight and the oil sure did that, but made it super greasy as well. When I say greasy, I mean greasy. I mean, like, you can see, like, a beautiful little shine in it. That's from the amount of oil. And probably, at this point, sebum, too, that is in my hair. That side detangled really easily. And, of course, when you have your hair in a braid, that helps. Technically, now I do have to brush all my hair straight up, which is kind of annoying. Because I just brushed it down. But I needed to detangle it first which is easier to do brushing down. Now the girl in the video used hairspray and I just saw someone do a hack which I do this with my leave-in conditioner I don't know why I didn't think to do it with the hairspray but spray it in your hand first rub it then apply it to your hair and you're gonna get much better coverage that way. Look at what hairspray does for flyaways like look at that no frizz. I might have to incorporate hairspray into my routine, even when I bring the curls back. This is the trickiest part. Let's see if I can accomplish it. Get a scrunchy. Put it through. And then... You're gonna loop your hair around the scrunchy. Did I do that right? I think I missed some hairs. Okay, and then keep looping it around. And hopefully this will be more comfortable to sleep with than any of the other heatless methods I have tried so far. And being that the scrunchie naturally wants to curl in on itself, it should hold better too. Almost there. And you know, if you have long hair, you just get a bigger scrunchie. Okay, and then I guess, I don't know how I'm gonna just kind of hold it like that. It'll hold. Same thing for the other side.
I only use two scrunchies, but I would imagine that the more you use, the better result you will get. And then just kind of keep everything in place. Because I don't want it to fall out during the night. And I actually just got this new little turban from the store. I'm hoping that we'll just keep everything in place until I come to take it out tomorrow morning. Feels pretty secure, so there we go. We've got the heatless curls in place, and now that I've done that, I can feel my scalp starting to itch a little bit, so hopefully overnight it won't bother me too much, and then I'll take these out tomorrow and that will be day 12, I think. And I think I will be done with this press because my scalp is just giving up on me. And I know there are ways to really, really get in there and clean your scalp really, really well without washing it, but it's more time consuming than I want to put effort into right now when I know I could just wash it and it's gonna come back to life. So we will see how this looks in the morning. It's the next day and I did end up taking off the other turban after I slept in it because it just wasn't super comfortable to have on my head during the day and I've just been rocking this bandana plus I had the microfiber towel on to make sure it didn't get any steam or humidity in when I was showering here. Okay this is what we're working with. My scalp is really ready to be washed so definitely tomorrow. it gave me some nice waves and it looks good from the front and the back so I guess we could say this is a success it really didn't give me curls but it definitely gave me waves probably if I got better with my wrapping technique I could get more but I don't know how long this will hold you know curls don't usually stay as long do I leave it like this or do I do a half up half down If there's one thing I can't stand, it's hair in my face. So even though it looked really, really cute the way it was, there's just something about this half up, half down that's... just so pretty. I like to use this Burt's Bees Lip Shimmer in the Caramel. This one is nice because it just adds a little bit of color without taking away too much from my natural lip color. Great for when I just want something subtle. Last but not least, I have these earrings here. This is my final finished look and I'm coming back further because my head is more square the further back I am which is what it really looks like in the mirror here. I feel like it's giving Barbie and I love that. I'm really happy with this simple hairstyle just the waves the way they came out. The fact that I can achieve this through a heatless method using only scrunchies and this was the most comfortable sleep I've had yet with a heatless method. I'm really so tempted to push this press for one more day, just one more day, but 
even right now I can feel my scalp being itchy and even when the itching is not there I can see the flakes so it is time we are gonna say goodbye to this press tomorrow but it's been so much fun while it's lasted I've really gotten to try out some fun styles I didn't want to go overboard with the styling because you still need to be gentle with your hair whether it's curly or straight and that means not manipulating it too too much just one style a day and then you keep that style for the whole day it should be fine it's been super super fun and I'm looking forward to trying this again next year thanks for watching I'll see you all next time